with the Prime Minister today declaring that he'd like to put a ban on the radical Islamic organisation Hizbut Tahir. Spokesman for the group Wasim Darihi joins me now. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. We've invited you here tonight to help Australians better understand what it is that you stand for. So tell me first of all, do you support the murderous campaign being waged by Islamic State fighters in Iraq? Well, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, there is an urgent need in this country to have a quite open and honest conversation. I want to take a moment just to take a step back. Uh, but I would, like, I would like I you to take this moment to my to, question, only because we'll have some time to sure. go through a number of issues and I don't want to, to run question. out of time. We won't run out of time. We'll definitely address the most important and pertinent points. The first point is this, that when we discuss the events in the Middle East, in the Muslim world, our entry point shouldn't be what ISIS is doing or not doing. ISIS exists in a particular context. What's that context? That context is a century more of colonial occupation. At and the I don't want to talk to you about the context at this point in time. I want you this to address the, the very specific nature of I my will. question, I will. And the which fact is that the tactics the fact that this that, group mm. is employing. Do you support mm. them or not? The fact that we don't want to have this discussion now is indicative of where the entire discussion on the war on terror narrative goes. The fact is, the entire response is what Muslims are doing or may not be doing. But no one legitimately or sincerely is discussing what Western governments are doing in the Muslim world. Groups like ISIS or Al-Qaeda don't exist in a vacuum. They exist as a reaction to uh, Western interference in the Islamic lands. And they, they view themselves, rightfully or wrongfully, irrespective of my opinion or otherwise, as a resistance effort to what they regard as an unjust occupation. And with respect, many commentators all over the world have made that very point. What I'm asking you specifically mm. is their tactics. Of course people are angry, we understand that, but what I'm asking you is the tactic that's being employed to push back. Mm. Do you support it? Well, let me explain something very clearly. Answer I'll my question, very clearly. please. I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you why the question itself is, is quite disconcerting. Because what we're talking about is a particular reality where millions have lost their lives. Countries have been you destroyed. You are clearly homes. obfuscating, no, and I did not invite not. you no, onto I this reject program. That. I reject the to accusation. Do that. I'll say very clearly. Why will you not why is point not offensive? blank? Why condemn is it not the offensive? actions of IS because fighters? Because the question itself is offensive. Men who cut off the heads of innocent mm. journalists and aid workers. Why yeah. won't you? Why will you not you take the opportunity? The you you have the a question. national platform yes. here. Why and don't you aware of adopt that. the leadership that mm. many have obviously mm. yeah. given you responsibility for? Why won't for you allow me to answer the question that I deem appropriate? It. I've answered the question quite, quite directly. We're talking about a reality in which millions have lost their lives directly as a consequence of the foreign policies of and countries have like Australia. And you made that point. But and what I hasn't allowed been made, to make what that hasn't point, been made, is what are we going to do about it? will make there their own judgments discussion. Of course they will. The and I have absolute trust you have made. in the Australian and population. And now I would just draw you back to my question. Yeah. And I'll keep repeating the same point. This cannot possibly be our entry point in this discussion. Do because why, support... why is the attention on ISIS, what ISIS is doing or not doing? Our position on ISIS is very clear. Our position on ISIS was released years before Tony Abbott wanted to make it a political issue. OK, for those we who haven't from, read it, tell me. We come me. from a very, clear, a very clear perspective. Our moral compass is not based on political expediency. Assad has been slaughtering hundreds of thousands and Tony Abbott has not moved a single fighter jet to, to oust him from his position. How are we supposed to believe that this current mission is a humanitarian one when 300,000... Because 300, we were invited 000, in by a legitimately elected government the question in is Iraq. On the matter of principles. Syria is, a, we is in the midst of a civil war. That is a separate conversation but that's a very to the one excuse. we are discussing here. Are we talking principles? I if am we're discussing to be with outraged, you the tactics of a group that is masquerading and of course it's understandable. a religion yeah. which many people who yes. follow that religion yes. do not and let's take agree the argument with further. and in fact and let's condemn. Take the argument further. People like community mm. leaders here in Australia, like mm -hmm. Dr Jamal Rifi, mm -hmm. who has publicly condemned the actions of mm. Islamic State, why won't you do the same? My, my clear position is that we took a clear position on ISIS long before, long before Western politicians wanted to make, uh, wanted to use ISIS as the latest bogeyman. Let's not forget that a million people lost their lives based on a lie. Based on a lie. Let's not forget the whole charade around the weapons of I mass destruction. I don't think destruction. people forget that. And there has it's, been Tony Abbott is wanting us to believe that the greatest threat to all of us is the actions of a group, of a handful of individuals, and no one wants to discuss 
Uh, what are what has caused the death of a million civilians by, in Iraq? Are you outraged by the image of an Australian-born child of seven years old holding up severed heads like trophies mm. in Iraq or Syria? Let me tell you what I am, what I am outraged by. So you by. won't even answer that question. Are you going to allow what me to answer the, the question? Are you going public to allow to me to answer the question? If you wanted a one-way discussion, no. If you wanted I, a one-way discussion, I think you're you the one who not, wanted the one-way discussion. You did not necessarily have to invite me. I am asking you legitimate you're questions, questions, which you have obviously for a particular response. come here no, you'd knowing come you didn't to push want a particular to answer. No, I've come here to ask you answers so you can... Because you're not getting the answer you want, In many cases, I just want a yes or no. Let me make it very clear. You've invited me onto this platform to express my views. Yes. You're not allowed me to do that. But you want to express your views quite clearly. separate to the questions that I'm mm. putting to you. I'm answering the okay, question. Okay, let me that ask I you a different question and let's see if you might engage mm. with that one. Your group is calling for a caliphate governed mm. by Sharia law. What would, what would that look like in Australia? Yeah, this is the absurdity of this, of this entire discussion. Why is the focus given the context of the war on terror, entirely upon what Muslims are doing or not doing. OK, let Why me ask you we? another no, no, one. No, no, OK, you're not going to engage with no, that no, no, one. No, 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 let me be very clear. Just because you don't get the answer you want, <laughs> just because I'm not reinforcing an Islamic pho phobic narrative that justifies the wholesale slaughter of entire populations... any any supposed no, no, I'm explaining phobia the context in which this entire discussion is happening. putting a line in all the sand doing, and giving people a yes or a no about what your position is. We can continue, we can continue, we can continue to talk is. over each other. Your job is to ask the questions and to listen to my response. If you wanted to push an agenda, let's swap seats. But if my, you wanted to my communicate job is not a position, to ask questions and have you answer is. something entirely different. Your job is to ask a question and to, and to canvas my opinions. That's why I was introduced into this program. If you wanted to dictate my response, if you wanted to dictate terms of acceptability, then take my position. But ask me a question and at least afford me the respect for the opportunity to answer it. I come from a very clear point of view that as Muslims we have a fixed moral compass that says it's unequivocally, under any conditions, it's an aberration to kill innocent civilians. Tony Abbott cannot say that. John Howard dismissed, the, dismissed the slaughter of half a million. Okay, let's dismissed the slaughter down. of half a million civilians as an embarrassment. Let's talk about morality here. Let's talk about who is the greatest threat to civilian life. I think people are very life. clear of your point of view. They're clear on that point of view. You've expressed it a number of times. Yes. Now, let me message? ask you My this. message is this is where the discussion needs to be. Will you take this mm. opportunity now to urge mm. young Muslim men here mm. in Australia not to join Islamic State mm. fighters in and Iraq I'll and Syria? And I'll answer the exact same way. The war on terror narrative works in this way. It presents the West as the good guy and Muslims as the bad guy. And we are, we are what represents an existential threat to the entire world. That's an absurdity. It is not Muslims who are flying B-52s. It is not Muslims who are dropping bombs on, from, from, from their fighter jets. It is not Muslims who are occupying foreign lands. But it is, it don't is come Islamic to State me. fighters no, don't come to me who and are pretend killing that the greatest Muslims. threat to all They're of us... They're killing Christians. We're talking about They're opinion. murdering Kurds. I'm glad you raised that point. Do you know why? Because how are we expected to believe that the West is concerned about the life of minorities when it is the majority that is being slaughtered? How are we supposed to take those arguments seriously? How are we supposed to take the, the moral compass seriously when people like Madeleine Albright dismisses uh, a lives of half a million Will or a million through sanctions? Will you answer just one question that I I'm asked answering you, very clearly. specifically because, addressing because, the question I'm asking you? Just because you, you don't like the answer do doesn't me mean I'm favor, not answering the question. But will you do me a favour and I'm ask doing the one public, answer, one question? I'm doing the public a great favour by refocusing this discussion where it needs to be. Ask yourself very clearly, the Australian public... I believe in the Australian public more than Tony Abbott does. I believe what do you think the that as public human beings, make, they will identify will the with innocent life of taken the wrongly you will anywhere not. around the world. What will they the Australian public make of the fact that you mm. will not sit here mm. and tell your fellow Muslim men not mm. to join Islamic State fighters in I, Iraq and Syria? I believe 100% that the Australian public will see through the rhetoric. Tony Abbott and others who adopt his script are famous for their dog whistle politics, are famous for their policies around marginalisation and xenophobia. That's not, a, that's not a, some great new revelation. They, they campaign on this basis specifically because they don't want to confront the truth. And the truth is, it is not Muslims who are occupying foreign lands, it is not Muslims who are killing millions of civilians, and it is not Muslims who are shaking hands with barbaric Where are we tyrants. Foreign lands? Barbaric Where tyrants. Are we occupying after foreign 300,000 lives. Okay, now have I'm been engaging with Syria. your comments. Where are we? Where are we? Iraq, 
Afghanistan, we're not supporting Iraq. international architecture we're not, we're that not, enslaves entire populations. We're not occupying Iraq. You can place whatever spin you like. We live it. The we democratically it. elected government we in Iraq has invited it. us in. And that's why, as Isn't a Muslim, a I'm telling the Australian public the reality of what this government is doing in our lands. We live it. It's not an academic exercise. No, you're exercise. living in Australia. It's you're an Australian points. resident. It's not about points You're scoring. an Australian citizen. The Australian public you're needs to know. You're not living anything in We need in to Iraq. have an honest conversation about what this government is doing in your name. And it is frightening. John Howard dismissed what, half a million Islamic, lives as a near embarrassment. Islamic, and he did Islamic it in the people's doing name. In, your name. in the people's name. And this is the dilemma. You want the focus. You want the world to believe that what is of greatest concern is what a handful of individuals are doing in handful? response in response like to what is being done upon 000. them. There are about 30,000 now we're being told. Let's talk about the other side. Let's handful. talk about let's talk about the fact that they exist as a reaction to what exists on the ground. What exists on the ground? Foreign occupation, political Does repression. Does that justify beheading? Does that justify the Does slaughter that justify of innocence? The subjectivity around this discussion. Why don't you condemn what the Australian government is doing? Why don't you condemn what the American government is doing? Why don't you condemn the the, the innocent killing of a million lives in Iraq and Afghanistan? Why don't you do that? We're Why out of don't time. you hold the government to We're account? We're out of time. Surprise. Very conveniently. Well, we are out of time. We don't have an infinite amount of time to talk to you. But thanks for coming in, nonetheless. It is my pleasure. Thank you.